What is all the fuss about building blocks? Do you know about building blocks? These are pre-formatted blocks that can be added to Google Docs. Some of these simply provide formatting and some of them interact with other applications throughout the Google Workspace. Let's get you up to speed. Building blocks have been around for a while now as part of Google's Smart Canvas feature. Building blocks make more complicated formatting simple and allows for collaboration on previously singular tasks, such as email. Available building blocks include Writing notes. To quickly add any building blocks to docs, use the at symbol, which will activate the pop-up menu. Select meeting notes and Google will prompt you to select which meeting in your schedule you are creating notes for. The header of the document is information rich. Google has pulled in the date, title of the meeting and all attendees. The attendees shown have either RSVP'd yes or are unconfirmed. There are no declined attendees here, but if there were, these would appear with a strike through to indicate that they declined the meeting. You can also see in this meeting that there are details of an attached file. This file is contained in the event invitation and has been pulled in. A pre-formatted bullet point list can be filled in with points to note, and a pre-formatted checklist is created for action points. A task chip appears as the user creates action points to allow actions to be assigned as tasks. Clicking into the title box at the top of the document allows the event name and date to be added as a document title, which can, of course, be customised. Clicking the Gmail chip generates a draft email containing required links, notes and action items. It also imports the attendees' email addresses so that notes can be quickly shared post-meeting. Email drafts. Charlotte explored this function for us last year, but let's quickly refresh. Use the at symbol again to access the building blocks and the pre-formatted email draft will appear. People chips can be used to quickly add recipients or full email addresses can be typed in and then a title added. At this point, the collaboration happens. Share your file with relevant collaborators. Now, any collaborator can add body text to the email. And as with other Google Docs, collaborators can suggest edits and add comments. As Charlotte showed us, we can now engage the Gmail chip to populate a draft email with the information. There are a few things here to be watchful of. Notice I've received a warning from Google regarding my use of font. It's letting me know that the font I'm using might not be supported by Gmail as it may not be a web safe font. Also, I neglected to accept or decline suggested edits. Google has imported both the original and the suggestion in my email body text. Comments are not picked up. Once imported to a draft, the default is to have no signature. If you wish to include a signature, you need to add this before sending. In the draft, I have access to full functionality. In this case, I'll engage schedule send to send at a later date. Calendar event draft. This brand new function operates much like the email draft block. Add the required details into the prepared fields and share with a collaborator as required. Click the calendar chip to preview the event in full screen, add any additional resources, etc. And click save to add the event to the calendar and send your invites. Calendar event draft is currently in rollout. So if you do not see this now, you will see this soon. Code blocks. Use code blocks to quickly add code to a document by inserting a code block building block. Choose the correct language and add a code snippet. Google Docs will recognize the syntax in the code and apply the correct formatting. 
are four available project trackers, including product roadmap, review tracker, project assets, and launch content tracker. Each template provides a slightly different configuration of rows, columns, and templated dropdowns. These are a great jumping off point for a beginner or intermediate user, perhaps lacking the confidence to build custom tables themselves. Custom building blocks. This feature for me is the holy grail. Create your own personal building blocks to insert across your document library. Custom building blocks are saved to my drive where they can be updated, edited, or deleted. There are two ways to create a custom building block. Here is a commonly used text block that I would like to make into a building block. I highlight the text and from the insert menu, select building blocks, followed by custom building block. From the custom block pop-out, select new custom building block. Once you are happy that all content required is highlighted, click save. The block will need a title at minimum. If you intend to make full use of the function, adding a description will aid location of the block in future. Click Create and OK, and the block is now saved. Another use of this function is to create custom trackers. Here I can edit the dropdown to recognizable statuses that I use with my team. I have also created a custom dropdown containing the names specifically of my team members. I have customized the formatting and I can even add default tasks that I might anticipate will turn up on every event. This time, I'll highlight the content and use the right click menu. Select the option to save as a custom building block. Give it a name and a description and click save. Now I can insert either of these building blocks into a new document. All the formatting and custom dropdowns are generated automatically. From the bottom of the custom building blocks menu, the user has access to manage custom blocks. This will bring your user to a folder in my drive, which contains all the block templates. I can edit the block name, and I can access the template to make any required edits. As you see here, I can now apply the same building block and the edit is apparent. Custom building blocks are edition specific. You will find these in the following editions from business to education. The feature is brand new and rollout is ongoing. So watch this space for its arrival in your Google Docs. I hope you are now as excited as I am about the building blocks suite, in particular, custom building blocks. I know this is going to save me a lot of time finding and pasting in commonly used text, images, charts, and data. Let us know how you've been using building blocks. And if you've learned something new today, don't forget to subscribe to our weekly tips. Until next week, see you then.